Preparing for the storm, communities along South Texas started picking up sandbags as Hannah is projected to make landfall tomorrow. The tropical storm is expected to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane just before hitting Texas. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn, of course, is in our Storm Tracker Center. And Patrick, the million-dollar question, what does this all mean for Southeast Texas? Very little, uh, Dejanique. Fortunately for us, uh, I think we're going to see some rain out of it and maybe some breezy weather conditions and some minor coastal flooding. But one thing is for sure is that Hannah is strengthening. Let me take you down and look at the eye structure. You're looking at a 3D look at this and you see these towers developing. They're taller and that's telling us that uh, this is a strengthening storm as we're starting to get uh, an eye feature starting to develop and you can see the rotation around that central area and that is about, let's see, Oh, about a hundred and uh, oh, about 165 miles to the east southeast of Corpus Christi. Notice it's still moving west at eight miles an hour, but the winds have increased to 65 miles an hour per the 10 p.m. update. And again, this is expected to head on off towards the west. Hurricane warnings in effect for Baffin Bay, a little further there south, almost to Raymondville, including, uh, including Corpus Christi. This is likely to be a hurricane by the time you wake up in the morning, making landfall near Baffin Bay and then weakening over south Texas through the day on Saturday into Sunday and then on into uh, uh, Mexico. So what does that mean for us? Some breezy weather conditions. One to two, maybe three inches of rainfall, mainly for the triangle and some minor coastal flooding. Flood advisories or coastal flood advisories are in effect right now for tides running about one to two feet. More on the rest of your weekend forecast coming up on 12 News. And just a reminder, 12 News is your hurricane headquarters. We have continuing coverage on air, online, and of course on our 12 News Now app. You can also find the latest information on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.